Florida's east coast, bracing for the impact of Hurricane Matthew. The storm strengthening this morning into a Category 4 hurricane. Let's go to meteorologist John Scalzi with the latest on the storm. John? Yeah, this is really a, a tragic and devastating event that's unfolding as we progress through the afternoon. Haiti, of course, having been hit hard, uh, there are some aerial shots that show only 1% of the structures in coastal towns of Haiti are still standing. And Haiti has a history of, the more, of more deaths occurring after a natural disaster has ended and the aftermath occurs of cholera and dysentery. So that's one thing that will play into the history of this storm. Now, big thunderstorms all around the eye. It has strengthened into a Category 4. The Bahama Island chain under the gun. Just having passed by Andros Island, it continues on a path that will now produce massive rainfall and heavy flooding for the Grand Bahama Island as well, it looks like, as it takes a track that carries it right up toward the Space Coast. As it skirts the coast of the Space Coast, there will be some significant damage done by uh, inland flooding as well as coastal storm surge that could be 15 feet high. Okay, our, our watches and warnings have not changed with the last issuance from the Hurricane Center, except that uh, the watches have been extended further northward. In our location, we still have tropical storm watches up for our area, meaning the tropical storm force winds are possible, but not certain, except for Hardy County, where there still is a tropical storm warning, meaning the expectation exists of tropical storm force winds. More on that in a few minutes. I think that what we are looking at here is probably a 30 to 40 mile an hour sustained wind in, Wa in Wachula and Ona and areas of uh, Hardy County during the you know, probably evening hours, late evening hours, nighttime hours through tomorrow morning with gusts as high as 45, higher gusts and thunderstorms that pass through. And the rest of the area, I think we'll probably see 20 to 25 mile per hour winds with gusts to near 30. Take a look at the track of the storm. It has not changed all that much. The philosophy remains the same, and the models converge on the storm moving to the north as a Category 4, getting very close to the Florida coastline by about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning with storm surge on top of wave action, on top of tidal action, totaling perhaps 15-foot breaking waves over land, which means over the top of roofs. Just a horrific situation unfolding, Scott.